1964 Hodaka Ace 90. And no, I did not misspell Honda in the title. This is a Hodaka, not a Chinese replica or anything along that extent. This is a true company from back in the 60s and 70s that you probably haven't heard of if you're under the age of 55. I can't tell the story of this bike and why I ended up buying it without telling you a little bit about the story of Hodaka. Now the Hodaka story goes as such. There was a group of farmers who were looking into other business ventures because of certain regulations in the 60s regarding farming. They wanted to do other businesses to continue to be able to provide for their families. One of the gentlemen in the group decided that importing motorcycles from Japan was a viable option to make a business out of. They found out that importing Japanese product could make them good money, eventually decided on motorcycles, and they contracted with a company called Yamaguchi Motorcycles. Yamaguchi went bankrupt funding his daughter's political campaign and they were left with nothing. Hodaka was making the motors for the Yamaguchi Motorcycles. Hodaka was strictly an engine company. So then the farmers said, you know what? Let's go to Hodaka and let's get them to build a motorcycle. Originally, the Yamaguchi motorcycles were not supposed to be trail bikes or dirt bikes along any extent, but then when Hodaka and the farmers came together, this is what they built. This was the first Hodaka that was built. This is the first thing that was put into production. I believe there were very, very select few Yamaguchi motorcycles imported, but they didn't last long and there's probably only a few hundred of them out total. Hodaka was kind of an instant success. They were good, reliable, and cheap at the time. These bikes were about five to six hundred dollars brand new, which in the 60s, I mean, it was a good amount of money, but it was still very, very affordable. This is a two-stroke 90cc motorcycle, a great beginner bike, and honestly great for any experienced rider. Any level of experienced rider, I should say. The chrome tank is kind of like the iconic Hodaka look. Red frame. This bike is pretty stock. This bike was, however, street legal and came with a headlight and a taillight originally, but a lot of people took them off because, well, they were going off-roading on the trails or racing, so they just took it off and rode them like so. That's a little bit of the Hodaka story, but it goes much, much, much more into detail. Let's talk about this bike, why I bought it, and how I even found out about the brand. So I found out about Hodaka just looking online for motorcycles for sale. I saw one of these come for sale and I was like, oh, that's an interesting little dirt bike. For those who do not know, I don't own any other dirt bikes. All my other bikes are vintage classics of some sort that were built for the roads. This is my first ever dirt bike and actually the first two stroke that I have. This is not the first two stroke that I have. There's one that I have that I'm trying to import right now, but this is the first two stroke that I bought. But I found out about these just looking through and seeing them for sale and then I never really thought much of it kind of went about my day I'm like I don't really need a dirt bike right now it'd be cool at some point to have one definitely need to add one to the collection but I'm just like you know what I don't need it right now and then I went to Oklahoma Texas about a month ago a couple of weeks ago and I saw one of these outside a dealership and my dad was like is that like a Chinese knockoff of Honda or something like that and I thought in the back of my mind I'm like I don't think it is I'm pretty sure like it's a legit old dirt bike, but I didn't want to say anything because I didn't know too much about them other than, I mean, I'd seen one for sale. Then I did more research and found out about the fantastic story behind them, how they were super successful. They made a million of them, but a lot of them did get destroyed along the process and there aren't too many survivors out there. And there's a kind of a cult following behind them that I'm now a part of. So this was the first Hodaka that was made in 64. This is the first year of Hodaka in 64. And this is the Ace 90. Then the Ace 100 came out and followed. And then there was a couple other really cool models. Let's talk about this bike, what it needs, and what the plan with it is. So unfortunately, because most of these bikes were bought at the dealership, broken in on Saturday, and then raced on Sunday, they never got properly titled on the streets. Most of them don't have street titling, even if they are street legal. This one is the same. I'm going to try to obtain paperwork. I should be able to obtain paperwork for it. And once I have the paperwork, I do plan to street ride it a little bit. I also do plan to trail ride it a little bit. This bike is going to need pretty much a full restoration. It's a 64. It's been sitting for about 20 years. The motor does turn over, but uh, there's a ring missing in the engine. We'll probably do an engine rebuild just because, well, it turns over. Not well. It's been sitting for a long time. The two-stroke engine is fairly simple. It has a brand new carburetor on it, and I do have a couple of pieces. I have the rings it needs, and it needs a point system. I mean, if you're looking at this bike, it's a very, very simple bike. There's not too much to it. I'm probably going to strip it down to bare frame, repaint the frame red, redo the engine. 
uh, fix up the tank a little bit and kind of do a semi restoration job on it some paint some touch up work and get it back up and running for the street i don't know it's just a cool old machine the chrome with the red is a it's a very nice touch and i'm excited to work on it i don't know when i'll get time to work on it but whenever i take it apart I'm going to take it completely apart and put it all back together as soon as I possibly can. I'm going to try to source some OEM headlights, OEM taillights. I th don't think this is an OEM seat, even though it looks like it, but it doesn't say Hodaka on the back of it. And I'm just kind of piece together parts, and once I have all the parts, slap it back together. Luckily, there is a guy who decided to start manufacturing parts for these motorcycles. So parts are available. I can buy engine rebuild kits. I can buy everything and almost anything that I need, including mufflers, everything like that. This pipe seems to be in very good condition. Overall, the entire bike is there. Just needs a little bit of love. And normally a full restoration would be like a lot of work, but it's a fairly simple machine. I say fairly simple, I mean, <laughs> just look at it there's like almost nothing to it the tanks in decent condition and um, it does need to be resealed as almost all these old motorcycles do I'm sure the carbs gonna need to be gone through even though it's new as all these old motorcycles do and yeah <laughs> something I find it kind of interesting is uh there's place for a passenger on the bike I, I don't I don't know if anyone's fitting behind me I don't know what they're thinking on that one maybe two small Japanese people maybe two small children perhaps not to adults. It's a nice bike with an interesting story. First dirt bike, first two stroke that's stateside. We'll talk more about the second one a, a little bit, but yeah, that's all I got for this video. I just thought I'd show you my new bike in the collection. Other than that, that's all I have for the video. If you guys did enjoy, as always, subscribe to the channel, check out some of the other motorcycles in the collection, and stay tuned because this bike will be getting a lot of videos on it soon.